Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at the graphs of motion when you toss the ball up in the air and have it fall down and you catch it again. We have three graphs, position versus time, velocity versus time, acceleration versus time. The position versus time graph is fairly straightforward. The ball goes up in the air, it reaches its maximum height, and then it falls back down again. The velocity time graph is a little more complicated. This point right here represents the moment when the ball leaves your hands. It has a large positive velocity. That means it's moving straight up in the air. As it moves up in the air, it slows down because gravity, Earth's gravity, is tugging on it and slowing it and slowing it and slowing it. It's moving up this whole time, but it's slowing down right here at the axis it stops for just a moment. That's zero velocity. So that's the moment when the ball is at the top of its trajectory and it is changing direction. All of this region beneath the axis represents falling back down. Initially the ball falls slowly and then it falls faster and faster and faster until this is the moment when you catch the ball. This negative velocity should match this positive velocity. The acceleration graph is fairly straightforward. The acceleration of gravity at the surface of the Earth is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, and this graph seems to indicate we're awfully close. It looks like negative 10 meters per second squared. The interesting thing is that it is absolutely constant. Yeah. Let's relate these graphs to each other. On a position time graph, any time there is a curve, there is going to be acceleration. In this case, the line is curving for the entire time the ball is in the air because there is acceleration the entire time the ball is in the air. Let's compare the velocity time graph to the acceleration time graph. On a velocity time graph, the slope of the line is acceleration. Let me repeat that. On a velocity time graph, the slope of the line is acceleration. Because this line has a negative slope, the acceleration of gravity is going to be negative. If this were a positive slope, then the acceleration of gravity would be up here. 